What is going on, obscure mic people? It is Bart coming at you with another microphone test review demo, whatever you want to call it. Dumb guy talking into a dumb mic. We could just name the channel that. Dumb mic, dumb guy. Yeah. So I've got the... Got to look at it. Radio Shack 33-1070C. The Radio Shack... 33-1070C unidirectional dynamic microphone from Radio Shack. Most of the Radio Shack microphones were either made by Shure or Realistic, I believe. I think. This one, I believe, made by Shure. Made in Mexico. Has the Shure look on the label. It looks like a Shure microphone. And I got this for next to nothing. Got it in a lot of microphones. And I know uh, one dude out there, my dude Brony, he loves this kind of stuff. So I'm glad he'll be watching it. That's one view I already know that I'm getting. Let's see if we can get it up to five. Let's see if we can get five views on this video. Anyways, Radio Shack, unidirectional, dynamic microphone. Going to be a short one. Dynamics, not a lot to talk about. But I don't hate the sound right out of the box. It's a little thin, a little top heavy, but it's not overly sizzly. I think it could be worked with. Now, you're probably going to hear some rain. The, my studio, studio, s -s studio has a metal roof, so probably going to hear some rain. Anyways, let's talk into this thing, do some tests, and then act a fool for a little bit. Talking into the front of the 33-1070C from Radio Shack. Now I'm going to turn the microphone 90 degrees, 180 degrees. 90 degrees again, and then slowly back around to the front of the microphone. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. I didn't think plosives were that bad. That wasn't bad at all. Let's get right up on it. When you get right on top of the 33-1070C from Radio Shack. Are there any Radio Shacks left out there? Open? Mm, doubtful. Maybe a few. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like. I would do the whole silence uh, noise test, but rain, you're going to hear rain. I can stand the rain. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain coming down at Radio Shack? You're welcome. You're welcome. I am unsigned. I'm a free agent. Uh, as far as the music industry goes, totally unsigned. Can do those 80s whales. <laughs> I got skills, son. I'm going to start rapping on obscure mics for you guys. Seriously. I'm going to write some raps, and I'm going to take some microphones. I'm going to be like, rap test. And, I, and, I, and I'm going to lay down some rap tracks. You know why? I enjoy it, so I might do it. All right. Again, not a lot going on with this mic, but let's continue some testing. Let's go back and forth in our hands for handling noise. Not bad. And let me tell you something else. This thing is made really well. Made really well. I'll throw some pictures up when I while I talk about it. But it's all metal. It's very heavy. Metal mesh grill is already a little dented, but it's strong. This thing is, it's a tank. I hate saying that a mic is a tank, but it is a tank. And that's because Sure made it. So it's going to be pretty solid. And I'll tell you what, this microphone, while it sounds okay right now, on the thin side, but that's Thin but not super sizzly, we can work with that. Let's throw some processing on it so we can get some more. A lot of S sounds too, a lot of sibilance. Don't love that, but let's go ahead and throw some processing on this. On the Rodecaster Pro, my level set at 35. Uh, fader set at about Unity, a little above Unity. Let's throw some processing on it. All right, we've got a compressor, high pass filter, de -esser, and a big bottom. Big bottom because we need the oomph on this microphone. And let me say, you can get these cheap all day long. This sounds a lot better than a lot of my handhelds that I'm looking around for that are put away. But I'm still looking for them anyways. Where'd they go? They're in boxes. They're in cases. They're in cubes. But I'm still looking. Still looking. Can't find them. Not from where I'm sitting. Not with a mic in my hand. But this is, this is totally workable. This is clear and cuts through. The de-esser is helping a little bit. I still hear that sibilance quite a bit, but it but it's a lot shorter. 
this is not a bad microphone and you can get these all day. I have no problem as a beginning podcast grabbing three of these with some cheap ass newer boom arms and having ourselves a little podcast. It's going to come through loud and clear. Everyone's going to be able to hear everything you've got to say with limited sizzle and still a little bit limited bottom. But so podcasters tend to fall off the mic. They don't stay right on top of it. So let's just see if I'm doing this and I'm talking and, you know, I'm talking about this week's topic, which is going to be something really bad because most podcasts are really bad, including my own. So, you know, we're just talking, moving around. So it does cut off quite a bit, but even though it's unidirectional, which I think is just cardioid, but it, it works pretty well. If you can keep this thing at the corner of your mouth and stay in position, this is a nice little podcast mic from Radio Shack. I don't hate it at all. I wish it had a little more low end, but, you know, add a little low end and EQ, so much easier than doing stuff with the mids and highs. This doesn't sound overly nasally. There is a little bit of nasally sound to it, but... This is a perfectly fine podcasting mic, general all-purpose mic. And because of the plosive rejection, which didn't seem too terribly bad, terribly, like how it turned terribly, and even though terribly is a, pro, uh, a plosive word. Yeah, but the plosives aren't that bad. So this is a pretty good buy for the $10 to $20 that you would need to pay for it. Granted, you got the Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500 you could get for the same price, but everyone's going to have different mics in their lockers. This is a nice clarity champion for the price. Kind of like it. Obscure Mike's giving it the old green light because they're dirt cheap and nobody wants to pay much for Radio Shack mics. So I like it. Hopefully you liked it. Be prepared for Bark Raps. Yo, Bark Raps on the next Obscure Mics. Now I've got to write some rhymes. Peace out.